So we're working on my power supply setup inside of here. And uh, the first thing I needed to do was find a way to remotely power on the uh, power supply. And the way you do that is you short the green wire, which you can just see right there, with any black wire, which is fine. Unfortunately, that wouldn't power my little LED in my switch here. So what I had to do was come up with a different solution that would allow me to look, glance up without any other problems and know whether or not there was power going to that. And um, part of that would be power in the box. So what I've done here is temporarily hot glued this to the leg and this wall wart is 12 volts and this one here is the power supply. So I ran the 12 volt lead through my little power switch to that relay and now when I turn on the switch which, here we go we've got 12 volts on startup well 11.75 it, it'll actually get to 12.47 under a load and my little LED lights up so happily I've come across a solution that will work out pretty well <clears throat> It will do two things. If the power supply shorts out and stops itself, which it can do very easily if I were to touch any black wire to any other wire, like I just did there, it'll pop the uh, breaker inside of the power supply and shut it off. Okay, so that means that there is no power going to that. But I know that there was a short and not the power, the power is not the problem because it's on a two separate supply. So I can shut this off and give it a three second stay up and start it back up. And there we have 12 volts again. So it gives me a little bit of a safety so that I know, oh my gosh, there's a short somewhere. I could fix it, but I also know that there's still power to the box. Um, so that gives me some built-in safety and a remote start. Plus, I get to use one of these nice little uh, relays. I, I've yet to get to use these things, and they're really nice. A, a lot overkill for what I'm using it for, though, because there are six connections. I can connect here and here, here and here, here and here, and here and here. And then, of course, these are the power the, that power the uh, coil inside of the relay. It's a really nice relay. I just haven't got a chance to use them, so... This is a frivolous excuse to use a nice relay. Anyway, there we go. I'm quite happy with the solution, and I can tell at a glance what the problem might actually be, whether it's a short or whether it is a fault on the power supply.